A healthy community is a place where myself and my family can come together to share moments, um, to spend quality time participating in physical activity and to celebrate our culture. A healthy community to me is one that welcomes people from all walks of life and people are not only able to access portions of the community but they can also engage with it um, and I guess what I'm saying is an inclusive community for all. A healthy community to me looks like bringing together all segments of, of the community, determining what the needs are and coming up with strategies that will fulfill those identified needs. A healthy community is a community I think that you feel safe in. And what's really important to me is outdoor spaces. Um, it also provides connection um, with other people. Where you interact, um, you can be supportive to one another, and um, you'll just be more involved, more present. A community that helps each other and is concerned about other age groups, and, and there's a lot of people that need care in this community, and I think that We'll all be there someday, so we have to help. Uh, well, for me, it would integrate uh, things that, you know, for the last 50 or 60 years have been uh, segregated uh, in terms of sectors. I think some of the challenges that we face in the Tri area is an expanding population, uh, and we're growing more and more diverse in, in many areas. So trying to come up with an all-encompassing strategy uh, is a little more difficult than it seems. There's challenges around some accessibility. Um, there's challenges around transportation, particularly I think for youth, yet there's no um, bus service or anything like that. So I've noticed challenges with that because they may not be able to get to the places where they can do some, engage in some healthy activities. So it's hard to get anywhere without being in a vehicle first. It being built for cars, mostly. To get to a community space, you gotta drive to it. Here you have to make the conscious decision to say, I wanna go there today, and make the time to drive there, make the time to drive home. If you have other ob obligations, it takes more time. And so building a community where it feels like the community space is intertwined with the residential space. And so it all becomes like one instead of like residential community, big chunk of residential, some shops. Public spaces are important because it's a gathering place and we need to have spaces so we can commune with other age groups and know the problems in our community and help fix them. Public space is important because it gives a chance for all age groups to um, gather together, um, to get to know each other and uh, just to have a really um, friendly place where people know that they're accepted. I can feel safe bringing all ages of children to a space, say like the library or like, you know, a, a center where children can play and, and have lots of area, lots of room, lots of people who care about making the community a better place. You know, we should be able to achieve a lot of this by uh, the way our community is structured. Um, urban design and, uh, you know, public health uh, need to work together and they are starting to work together. It's the beginning of, uh, you know, what I hope will you know, be a, a turning point and a tipping point eventually. We need to come together as one community in one space and work as a solid group rather than an individualistic approach to oneself and one's family. And uh, what we're trying to do here, in my mind, in part, is to build the momentum, uh, get the information out there, uh, help people understand that this, this should be a priority and uh, it should be an ask and an expectation of our uh, community and the leadership that we uh, elect.
ability of a community to come together in a diverse way. Uh, and that's what we've done here. We've tried to bring as many sectors together. We've tried to equally bring the four communities together um, as well. It's, of course, it's not perfect, but we did a pretty good job um, bringing a diverse group of people together. Um, and, and now what we're doing is we're just, we're wanting to talk about um, what's really going on, uh, what do we want to see changed, and how do we work better together? I think one of the main reasons of uh, coming and being very excited about coming is that uh, our Board of Trustees has a high focus on community engagement and uh, development of a healthy community. The healthy community creates healthy children and healthy children learn well. <laughs> Really his discussion of collective impact and how it does take the community to come together to really make a difference in the lives of people. And um, no one organization, no one uh, business can do this alone. We have to come together and we are stronger when we're together. And uh, we have to uh, open up and be authentic and try to look to the future what's best for our communities. We need to give and care and pay attention to who's in our community and watch out for them. And if we all start doing that, I think we're going to accomplish our goal. Parkland School Division, where the world opens up.